Hey gang, Sean here for VFX Jams. In this episode, we're going to continue on with our film damage look. In this particular episode, we are going to deal with grain, film grain. Um, I'm going to show you a couple different things uh, with grain. Um, I don't know if it needs to be explained, but grain happens. Um, there are really kind of two kinds of grain. There, uh, There's grain that, that occurs as silver halide crystals that's on film. And for those of you still shooting film or still looking at film, um, that's uh, pretty much what describes the grain. And if you're dealing with digital, grain is obviously described through pixels. So, um, and also the sensitivity of the sensor to light. So in this case, we're gonna deal with uh, what we're, you know, good old fashioned film grain. I'm gonna show you two different ways to create grain. One is gonna be self-evident, probably pretty obvious, and uh, I'm gonna give you an alternative too. So let's jump in. We're gonna start with a piece of footage like we do, and I've got our, our Santa Monica Pier footage we've been playing with. I'm gonna turn the sound off here, creating, of course, a new comp. Uh, I have the caps lock key on, that's why we weren't seeing it. Now, uh, so, you know, drag the footage down here into your timeline, you automatically create a composition. And uh, like we've been doing, we're gonna go ahead and throw in an adjustment layer on top of our footage. We're gonna call it grain, label it grain. Okay, the first kind of grain is, um, After Effects actually has film grain. So if you right mouse click in your, let's do it in the effects panel here, um, go to, where is it? Noise and grain and add grain. Now, um, this is After Effects' film grain plugin and it's it's good, it's very good. Um, it is a little heavy though and it can slow down your comp. But I'm gonna show you, uh, I'll, I'll do a quick overview of this. If you want me to go into more depth, let me know and maybe I'll do a different tutorial on this if you need to know more. But uh, grain happens differently based on the red, green, and blue channels. So if we look at each channel with this, I'll go ahead and turn on this grain. Right now we're just seeing this little square sample. Uh, it's set in viewing mode and preview mode. Let's go to final output so it'll do the whole thing. So there we see grain. And if we look at, um, let's look in an area that's kind of darker, like say around here. And we'll look at the individual channels. So if you look at red you can see the grain structure you know might be more productive if we looked at it in the sky we'll just do an overall here so that's the red channel you can see how the grain sits in the red channel green channel and blue channel now um, it looks like it's laying it pretty evenly here if we pull in one of the presets let's see if it weighs it differently yeah there we go okay so yeah it's much more obvious there um, it's actually emulating Eastman Kodak color negative, the 100T 5247 for those super interested in all the details. This is, um, th this is mimicking an actual um, uh, film. Uh, the, the thing that you'll see in real film grain is that the weight of the grain is uneven depending on the channel, and it's almost always grainier in the blue channel or in the blue dye, as, it, as is the case with film. The trick I'm going to show you will not dem will not have this um, this difference in the channels. So if you want hyper accurate, I would use this add grain feature. Um, I'm going to show you an alternative that does not take so long to render, and um, as a sort of generic look, um, it's very similar, just uh, you know, to the basic eye and that kind of thing, um, but uh, not as accurate. So if you are not, if well, I can go into this in another video and actually show you how to do this, but if you are actually trying to match uh, computer-generated images with film that was actually shot and captured, or even um, even digital capture, you will notice if you want to match it super accurate, accurately and do it at like feature films do it, you will need to match each channel differently and you'll need that control so you'll need to be able to break it out based on the red green and blue channel and in this plugin if you look over here you can actually do that so um, here you can do the channel intensities here you can change the red green and blue intensities and um, alter those so that your CG footage will eventually match your filmed footage your live footage so for now though we're gonna do the cheap version the cheap seats but still pretty good result so we're going to delete that, and we're just going to use um, noise. And it's in that same plugin, or that same um, uh, category. So we're just going to go in here, go to noise, 
And there we go. And this is a very simple recipe. Um, basically, we're going to crank up the noise to eight. And we want to... Um, film does not resolve uh, as high of detail as digital now does. Um, a good digital camera can now exceed the total detail of film. So if we're mimicking film, we're going to want to get rid of sort of that crispness. And so we want to apply the grain. And then we're going to add a little blur over the top of that. So we're just going to do that simply with blur sharp. And we're going to go in here and use our fast blur. And we're going to turn that up to what do we have? So we're going to do a subtle take on it. We're just going to do 0.5. But you'll see it'll soften. I'm actually blown up here into 200%. But um, there you have just sort of a nice texture in there. So if we play that back... You'll see some of that, um, you know, some of that that noise crawl in there that gives the uh, the feeling of grain. So I'll, do, I'll show you before. Actually, that's after. We'll do a snapshot. If you don't know this button down here, this is a snapshot. This will take a capture or just a quick uh, photograph of what you're looking at, and it'll make that little noise. And then if you want to compare that between a different, like a change in your comp. Uh, for example, I'm going to turn these off. So this is the footage just brought in without anything done to it. And you can actually A and B the difference. So there you see the difference. That's before, that's after. So it just softens it, makes it feel a little more organic. Um, I'm going to turn these back on. And you can actually see the red, green, and the blue layer are going to look identical. So that's how it's fundamentally different than actual film grain structure. So that's pretty much it. That's the cheap seats on how to create uh, film grain. And if you've enjoyed this, as usual, feel free to subscribe and we'll continue to bring more of these tutorials to you. And thanks for watching.